Bridge Project is London Music Masters Education Initiative. Um, we work with hundreds of children uh, in inner city London schools from the age of four um, right the way through to the end of their primary school. We teach the kids to play the violin um, and then as they get older they're given the opportunity to try another instrument as well. The aim is to introduce the communities to classical music. We're really trying to give the children real skills so they can engage um, in the world of music as performers as well as audience members. So we have a very intensive tuition program where the children have up to two hours of playing a week, um, a very dedicated team of young um, professional musicians who teach them. We also engage the parents in the process which is very important. So parents are invited to come and practice with the children after school and they're always involved in our performances as well. The LMM Awards is a career development scheme for phenomenally talented young professional violinists. And through the awards, they receive fantastic performance opportunities, mentoring and financial support. And today, Jennifer has been working with children on the Bridge Project at one of our partner schools, Ashmole Primary. I'm Jennifer Pike and I'm a violinist and so I'm balancing at the same time as concerts, um, going into schools and helping some very young kids uh, with their musical development, which is very exciting. Today we've been looking at Igor Stravinsky's uh, ballet at Pulcinella and so we've, we've um, basically stripped down uh, the score to um, a few basic phrases. And we're getting the kids who are aged only six and seven um, to um, respond to the music. Another thing that we've been doing is um, encouraging them to write a song, can you believe, uh, which they've been doing with great gusto. We could tell him that all of the violins are made of chocolate and then melting. It's absolutely fantastic to, to hear them sing, to come up with ideas. Violins are made of chocolate. And it, it, it shows how much that, you know, if we can cultivate their talents, it would be absolutely wonderful. Today has been a real celebration of all the work that London Music Masters does. We had Jennifer Pike here being an absolute star. The children were tremendous. Um, Wigmore Hall, one of our creative partners, was really supporting us. Some great resources and all the expertise coming into the school. Um, the parents and families were here celebrating with the children. And it's great to see a really strong musical community developing here in, here in the school. What was particularly exciting for me was just seeing the children and Jennifer working together oh. so closely yeah. and the fact that she is just a phenomenal role model for the children. Wigmore Hall, who we've been working with today, is one of our creative partners and our award holders get the opportunity to perform solo recitals there at the beginning of their tenure with London Music Masters, which is a fantastic opportunity for them. We also are really lucky to work with the Royal College of Music. We did a fantastic Christmas show with them. We had a great event um, and it was great to work with them. And again, just for the children to have the experience of working with um, young up and coming professionals. The London Philharmonic Orchestra is also a creative partner and Agata Szymczewska, one of our other award holders, had the opportunity to perform her concerto debut with them. Elena Urioste, our third award holder, has also performed with them as part of their Bright Sparks Education Concert Series, which was fantastic because the Bridge Project children were also involved in that concert. Yeah, it was a really great day and the Southbank Centre hosted that, which was tremendous there, another of our creative partners, and really helped us um, to introduce the children to these phenomenal creative spaces. And they also get to sit in with the orchestra and we had an amazing time the other day where 70 of our Year 1 kids, so kids mm. aged 6, were just sitting amongst the orchestra um, as they played. Uh, they played. <laughs> great piece though, it was really good. <laughs> We also provide opportunities for the children and the award holders to take their music into the community. Um, we've had the children performing in old people's homes and children's hospitals and uh, the award holders have also done some really interesting community performances. It's really important, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so it's great for the children because they get to practice their concert skills and the award holders get to take their fantastic talents into spaces and 
perform music to people who may not otherwise get to experience such great classical music. Well, we just had a great performance uh, in front of a crowd of, I don't know, maybe 150 people all here to celebrate what's going on in Lambeth. And our Bridge Project children were right up there on the stage, 25 of them, sounding amazing. Yeah. Anyone feel good about it? Yeah! yeah. Well, I think it's brilliant. For the school in general, I think it gives them an extra thing rather than just, you know, reading literacy, maths, science. It's, it's another way of the children expressing themselves and discovering things about themselves that they probably don't know. And I'm sure it has an impact on the other subjects that they do. And I think it's also good for parents because a lot of parents would not necessarily imagine classical music as something that they would be interested in or their children might be interested in or good at or want to do. It's been a wonderful experience. Um, it's such a lovely thing to bring music into schools and to see um, the delight it brings, which is a wonderful thing to see them really excited and kind of stimulated by music. And I think this should happen in schools everywhere, really.